packages come today? Mm -mm. Where'd all this come from? The library. The library? You've never set foot in a library. You're only four years old. Six and a half. You're four. Six and a half. If you were six and a half, you'd be in school already. I want to be in school. I told you I was supposed to start school in September. You wouldn't listen. Get up. Get up. Get out here. Give me that book. Here is Pie. How old is Matilda? Four. I'm six and a half, Mommy. Five, then. I was six in August. You're a liar. I want to go to school. <laughs> school? It's out of the question. Who would be here to sign for the packages? We can't leave valuable packages sitting out on the doorstep. Now go watch TV like a good kid. You know, sometimes I think there's something wrong with that girl. Hmm. Tell me about it. Mm. Hey, dip face. Have a marshmallow. Have another marshmallow, dip face. Dip face. Sometimes Matilda longed for a friend, someone like the kind, courageous people in her books. It occurred to her that like talking dragons and princesses with hair long enough to climb, such people might exist only in storybooks. But Matilda was about to discover that she could be her own friend, Woo! that she had a kind of strength she wasn't even aware of. I'm great. I'm incredible. Michael, pencil and paper in the kitchen. Oh. Did we sell some cars today, honeydew? Did we? Uh, does that mean I can get that new TV? Yeah. Son, one day you're going to have to earn your own living. It's time you learn the family business. Sit down. Write this down. All right. The first car your brilliant father sold cost $320. I sold it for $1,158. <gasps> the second one cost $512. I sold it for $2,269. Wait, Dad, it's going too fast. Just right. The third cost $68. I sold it for $999. And the fourth cost $1,100. I sold it for 7839 big American buffaloes. Harry! What was my profit for the day? Could you repeat the last $10, one? $10,265. Check it if you don't believe me. You're a little cheat. You saw the paper. From all the way over here? Are you being smart with me? If you're being smart with me, young lady, you're going to be punished. Punished for being smart? For being a smart aleck. When a person is bad, that person has to be taught a lesson. Person? Get up. Get up. Get up. Harry Wormwood had unintentionally given his...